guys and welcome back to my channel oh I'm just feeling good today y'all like I was gonna put on makeup but like this whole vibe I have going like everything is soft my hair is soft my clothes are soft I'm just feeling carefree and gorgeous today um y'all are seeing this on Wednesday but I'm filming this on Monday which means it is the first day of fall and it is the first day of my season <laughs> I am a fall baby. I am a fall lover. It's been fall for me for like a month, but now it's like official, even though F global warming because it's still hot outside, but whatever, whatever. So today I am coming in with my top leave-ins and moisturizers. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video because I wanted to give you guys categories so that you guys have you know, the proper searching tools if you want to refer back to these videos. So I have quite a few moisturizers that I love and I have quite a few leave-ins that I love. So this is going to be a longer video. Let's go ahead if you are interested in seeing my favorite leave-in conditioners and moisturizers then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with leave-ins first. I'm going to start with what is in my hair. <laughs> And this is the Miche Lavish Leave-In Conditioner, and this is made with avocado and aloe vera. Y'all, this leave-in, this leave-in, and I will make sure that I do actually get close-ups and texture shots this time. I'm sorry I didn't have that in my last video. Nobody complained about it, but it bothered me. This leave-in, honestly, just everything that I've tried from Miche has been absolutely, wonderfully, phenomenally astounding astounding like it's so good this is day five hair yeah day five hair using this and uncle funky's daughter i absolutely love this leave-in i do find that this is a little difficult to find other things to pair it with but once i found something like i stuck with it i use this all the time this is the first bottle i have and i'm like halfway through it um, this has some aloe vera, it has BTMS, which is one of my favorite ingredients to help penetrate the hair shaft. It also has avocado in here. Um, it does have glycerin, there's some shea butter, castor oil. I love this because it's like perfectly balanced with <clears throat> sealants and humectants. And I personally appreciate that in a leave-in. I think that's part of the reason why I can use this and get longevity because it's perfectly balanced with both. I feel like sometimes leave-ins have either way too many oils or way too many humectants. And sometimes either end of the spectrum can be not so great for longevity, depending on what style you're doing. This one is like a perfectly balanced leave-in. It has really beautiful slip. I don't have to use a lot of this at all. I just I love this leave-in. If you have not tried the lavish leave-in from Miche, I mean, honestly, if you haven't tried Miche in general, like, you're totally missing out. And definitely Black Friday, you want to make sure that Miche is on your list. But I highly suggest this leave-in. It's just the perfect finisher to the rest of the products that come before in the Miche collection. Now, a lot of you guys asked me a lot about that combination that I was telling you about. And I actually have a video coming on that that is going to be like my go-to wash and go routine. This routine has replaced my routine with the Myel Curling Custard. Nothing's wrong with the Curling Custard. I just, I love this routine so much. So I do have a video coming on that. I filmed this hair for you guys. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It's so funny. I know a lot of y'all don't love TGIN. I feel like TGIN is one of the most polarizing brands. Like you either love it or you hate it. There's no in between with TGIN. It either works for you or it doesn't. And that is like totally cool. That's one of those brands where I'm just like, you know, for some reason my hair loves it and a lot of y'all's hair hates it, but it just be what it be. Um, this is the green tea super moist leave-in conditioner with green tea and argan oil. This has been a favorite of mine for so long. As you can see, the bottle is almost empty. I have like one use left of it. I can pair this with so many things. Um, oftentimes, I don't even really have to think about it when I put this with stuff. Like, I'll do a mixed test just to be sure, but nine times out of ten, it works. Like, there's very few things in my stash that don't mix with this. This really gives me great hydration. 
I do find that it has a good balance um, with moisture too. And I can get longevity out of my styles with this leave-in alone and nothing else on top of it. And there is that green tea, aloe, there's some cocoa seed butter, some shea butter. Um, there's also argan oil in here. Like there's really, really nice ingredients in here. I really appreciate this leave-in. I usually have two of these in my stash. So like this one is almost gone and I have another one um, on my shelf as a backup. So I usually always have a backup of this because it's one of those leave-ins where I like stop using it for a little bit and then I go back to it and I'm like, why did I ever stop using this? You know what I mean? Good staple leave-in for me to have in my collection and I always have a backup. Even though these are technically two products, I'm going to speak about them as one unit because that's how I use them and that's how I feel they work the best. Um, this is the Eden Body Works Almond and Marshmallow Hydration Serum and Therapy Leave-In Conditioner. So I love these babies to death. Um, the leave-in is a really nice creamy spray leave-in. It's light but also like moisturizing and hydrating. Um, the first two ingredients are water and sweet almond oil and there is glycerin right after and I feel like the glycerin and the sweet almond oil in this really balance each other out. A lot of times with my leave-ins, it's very apparent that there's glycerin in them. And this one, it really isn't for me. I find that if I have something that's really crunchy, like a gel that's really, really crunchy, I put this underneath it. And it still maintains like that cast and stuff, but it kind of adds body and softness to my hair. So. I really enjoy this leave-in and then the hydration serum. I know a lot of people use this as a gel, but I feel like this is definitely like a base product. Like think of it as like a curl primer, like the Believe-In. A lot of people have said that this is a dupe for the Believe-In um, and you would use this the exact same way you use the Believe-In. So I put this on first just because this is the lighter of the two and then I put this on top and they just make a perfect marriage. I love this guy because, I mean, what can I say? It defines, it adds shine, it really volumizes, it adds body, um, and it even kind of enhances my texture. There's just something about this just in general, and sometimes I will use this by itself depending on what product I'm using on top, but I prefer to put these together, and these are like the dream team for me. I'm always getting questions about... Like, what's that combo you used under your eco? Or what was that combo you used at time under wet line? Or, you know, any stronghold gel for the most part, I have this underneath it because these, for some reason, you would think that your hair would be left kind of dry and stiff. But no, these products may be light, but don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. They come through. A really good affordable favorite. Um, This is the Garnier whole blend smoothing leave-in conditioner with coconut oil and cocoa butter um this is the one that i currently have well i actually i have the maple one too i haven't cracked it open yet though but this is just the one that i pulled out but for the most part i love all of their leave-in conditioners i think the only leave-in i haven't used from them is their like original sleek and shine leave-in conditioner but i love the um buttercream for curly hair from the fruit teas collection I love the olive, the legendary olive, I think it is one, this one, um, and then I'm going to be using the maple, but the maple seems to be a relatively identical consistency to this. I love these leave-ins. For some reason, they seem to also be another leave-in that works very, very well with a lot of things in my collection. In particular, I love to pair these with the Myel Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. That is like a dope combo, like... I don't know what it is and I also I'm the type of person I love to mix like higher end and lower end products this leave-in is just first of all all their leave-ins smell good this smells so nice it's super slippery it's very rich probably one of the thicker leave-ins that I have here there's only one that I feel like kind of steps it up in terms of thickness in this but even though it's thicker, it has just as much slip as all the other leave-ins in this collection. Now, I do think this one in particular has, yeah, this one has cones. Not all of them do. Some of them are silicone-free and some of them aren't, so just be sure to check the ingredients. I'm over halfway through this one. So I pull these out all the time. I just, they're just good leave-ins, especially if you're on a budget. Like, if 
I couldn't purchase any of my like pricier products for a good minute. I would just be going back to this because it lasts me a while and I can get it on the ground very easily and for a good price. And I have three leave-ins from She Sent It. <laughs> um, because She Sent It, I just, I love them for their like leave-in conditioners. Leave-in conditioners, moisturizers, and like deep conditioners, they just hit it out of the park. The first one that I have is the Pomegranate Pear Moisture Milk. Um, this is a multi-functioning leave-in styler. Now, even though they call this a moisture milk, like you would think this would technically be a moisturizer, I wouldn't put that in that category. This one has a thinner consistency. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a product shot, but I ain't gonna lie y'all, I may not do that just because I don't wanna waste any of this. It has like a very thin consistency, but this packs such a nice punch. Um, when I put this into my hair, like my curls just become so shiny and it does like add a little bit of defining properties to your hair. Like it already kind of reinforces that curl for whatever product you're going to put on top of it. I love this so much. And I can't tell you guys how many times I've used this. Like, like I said in the last video, you know that it's real when you don't know how many times that you've used a product. I don't know how many times I've used this. And even when I think, oh, this is gonna be the last use, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I still have like this much left. And truthfully, that may be two uses for me. So this stuff has so much slip. It really just glides through. It coats the strands. You don't need a lot at all. The other thing that I love about this is that this is kind of foolproof with all of their gels. I obviously mix this with my pomegranate pear uh, pudding, oil and gel hair pudding. This is perfect with that. I wouldn't suggest using any other leave-in with that but this one because this one marries perfectly with that. But also the macadamia fixing gel, that one is hard to pair with their leave-ins. It works with this one like perfectly. Um, This works with the uh, passion fruit and flax. And I need to try this with a Tahiti cocktail, but I have no doubt that this will probably work with a Tahiti cocktail too. If you're looking for like one leave-in to get because you have their other stylers and they're not mixing with things, get this one because they mix. It's this is so good. I can't wait to get more on Black Friday because I just, I love this stuff. I have also fallen deeply in love with the Marula Mallow Leave-In Styler from She Sent It. This one is also almost empty. You can't really tell. I love that Marula Mallow fragrance. It's hard to describe what it smells like, but it's just one of those things like if you know, you know. Um, I love this because it's again like a very sheer thin cream. Not quite quite as slippery as a pomegranate pear but it still has like really really good slip. I love like just cocktailing this with other things. Um, this works great on its own as a leave-in but this is like if you like to combine like um, your leave-ins and your cream moisturizers this is a good one to have because it's it's hydrating and moisturizing enough to use it on its own, but it's also light enough to where if you want to like lightly layer something else on top of it before you add your gel, like it, it's, it's great. So I really enjoy this leave-in conditioner. Easy to pair with other products. I still find that this one doesn't work well with their other stylers. I need to try this with the passion fruit and flax, um, but definitely the pomegranate pear oil and gel pudding and the macadamia fixing gel this does not marry well with those but in terms of like all of my main choice gels this works perfectly with my ren pure it works perfectly with um alicane naturals it works per perfectly with so this one has potential to be like a one-stop shop for you in your collection and just for some reason a lot of the other she scented leave-ins don't work with a lot of their other stylers and the last one in the she scented collection is the passion fruit and flax creamy leave-in i told you guys in the first review that i did on the passion fruit and flax and then the second one that this is my favorite she sent it leave-in and that remains to be true i just love it because i find this to be a little bit more um, emollient than the others and maybe it's that flax seed in there this has like the passion fruit and aloe vera very high up in the ingredients list and there's just something about this leave-in and my hair my hair be like girl <laughs> like I just really enjoy this leave-in it smells amazing it has beautiful slip and it is 
probably like the creamiest of all of well no now that I've tried the Tahiti cocktail that one that's like a true cream like that one even though it's a leave-in it's the only one that feels traditionally like a cream but if we're talking about just the rest of them like this is a close second to that this is creamy and the space that it is like um more emollient than the others so I mm, she's so good too she sent it just does a great job with the leave-ins it's really just like when you're shopping she sent it you just kind of got to pick one and see where it goes because all of them are good for very different reasons you know what I mean mm -hmm. you have one from the main choice um this is the exotic kool-aid sweet papaya and pineapple infinite conditioner when you talk about a conditioner that leaves your hair glistening. This one right here will leave your hair glistening. This one is probably the slipperiest out of all the main choice conditioners that I have in my collection, which is part of the top reason why I love it. And don't even get me started on the smell like this. If you know, you know. But I love the moisture that this provides my hair, especially because the Jello in this collection is a very strong whole gel. Like it is strong. And this one, this leave-in really gives a great balance of moisture. Some of the ingredients in this include water, glycerin, aloe vera, there's pineapple extract, papaya extract, and sea berry fruit oil. Very awesome ingredients in the first five. And you know, of course, in main choice fashion, there is um, biotin in here which I do appreciate as well. I do like that their leave-ins are traditionally moisturizing, but also strengthening. I think that's also part of the reason why there's quite a few people that just can't jive with their leave-ins because most of them, I wanna say all of them have biotin somewhere in the ingredients list. My hair drinks this leave-in up, like literally drinks it up. And I also find that this one doesn't foam up on me. So it is truly like a creamy leave-in conditioner in that sense as well. Highly suggest this leave-in. Um, if I had to have like a close second, mm, it would probably be the Do It Throw the Culture, but this one just, she shines out of all of them. I know y'all had to know that this leave-in was going to make it in here. <laughs> the My L Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This still stands to be one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners because my hair it just it just responds to this. This is one of those leave-ins where I put it in my hair and it just melts. It's so easy, it's so quick. The slip on this is literally unmatched. I love this leave-in conditioner. There's like some water, some BTMS, acetyl alcohol. There is glycerin in this. Um there's some balsam resin, some babasu oil in here. Like this has good ingredients. There's also a good mix of um humectants and oils in here but I do find that the glycerin is much higher than the rest of the oils so if you struggle with like glycerin and hair products this one may not be perfect for you but she she's perfect for me this is another one of those leave-ins where I could just like have this and probably get away with having nothing else because it mixes with so many things even eco this mixes with my eco styler and if you guys love eco the way I do you know don't know nothing Nothing mixes with Eco Styler, like, <laughs> except for the gold one. The gold one mixes with pretty much everything that I have, but I'm talking the rest of them. The rest of them mix with this. So I could literally just have this leave-in alone and probably be happy for the rest of my life if I really wanted to, because this, like, mixes with everything. If you have not tried this, I highly suggest it. Y'all know I have my ups and downs with Miel. But overall, like, pomegranate honey is, it's always going to be here. It's always going to be in the stash. I love my pomegranate and honey. And then my last leave-in conditioner, um, I'm, I'm putting it in the leave-in conditioners because it's categorized as one, but it really is like a leave-in, moisturizer, detangler, styler, like all of that. And um, after, the, after that description, you should know what this is. This is the Unicurl. <laughs> This is the Unicurl Aloe and Coconut Supreme Moisture Leave and Detangling Styler. Here she goes, here she goes. This, if you watch my video, then you know how much of a deceptive little Betty she is. Like, this is so deceptive because it's super duper thick, right? 
but once you pull out a little and start rubbing it into your hair, you like, hold up. This stuff is so slippery. It glides through the hair so beautifully. She like, she thick in the jar, but she's delicate on the hair. But the moisture, the hydration, the shine, y'all. I don't know how Alexis managed to create a product that is truly the only thing you need if you want it to be the only thing that you need. Like if I were stuck on a desert island and I could only have one product, it would probably be this now because it does everything. This has distilled water, BTMS, aloe vera leaf juice, coconut oil, and marshmallow root. There's also some flax and some vegetable glycerin in here. Y'all, y'all. You guys already know how I feel about Unicurl. I find their products just to be so literally unique and impressive. And I really enjoy this. I've, I've used this so many times since I did that video. And I have hardly, like, gone down on the jar because you don't, you don't need a lot of this. Like, you don't need a lot of this. If you use too much of this, your hair will be greasy. But I've used this, let's see, I used it for a one product wash and go. And it was cool. It wasn't my favorite, but it worked. And then I did use this for a braid out at some point and that was really nice. So um, if you have this, play around with it, like give it a shot on its own. This is a beautiful product. I highly suggest it. Now moving on to my moisturizers. Now these, I feel like my moisturizers don't always get a ton of love because I tend to use my moisturizers more so in the fall and winter seasons just because in the summer I don't need to add anything to my hair because my hair already pulls out all the moisture from the air on its own. I, I don't need to add anything extra <laughs> and I don't need to layer anything extra but these are the things when I want to do like some extra layering I pull these babies out. I would say my most favorite moisturizer on the planet is the burdock root buttercream with olive oil and nettle leaf and this is from commit biologics and it says moisturize right here <laughs> um i feel like not enough people talk about commit maybe because of the price this has awesome ingredients as well it has distilled water burdock root nettle leaf oat straw olive oil there's some glycerin in here this is amazing um it says to rub a small to moderate amount between palms and thoroughly distribute through damp or dry hair, leave-in, and style. Um, I prefer to use this on top of a leave-in conditioner. And when I tell you, y'all, the moisture. The moisture. The moisture that you get from this. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it works. And, like, the moisture that you get from the product is just amazing. Um, but this layered on top of a light leave-in conditioner and then just like sealed down with a little bit of like a curling custard. Mm. Do y'all want to see that video? Because that would basically be the closest that I get to like a fall, winter hair routine. Let me know because usually when I'm doing that, I'm doing it with this. And I, I love it. It's so good. One of my favorite like super expensive like luxury purchases. I love Comet Biologics. They deserve to get more hype and more love in this industry because they make amazing products. Again, with Eden Body Works, I have a peppermint tea tree hair milk. Sometimes I will actually use this just on its own, no leave-in, but I do prefer to put this on top of a leave-in conditioner. This milk is like dummy fit. Like she's, I really wish that they will put a pump on this because every time I start to get to the bottom of one of these, like, I have to beat the living life out of this thing. Like, you can see I'm already squeezing it to death to get the rest of it out. The second ingredient in this is glycerin. So, I prefer to use this underneath the gel as opposed to, like, coming back and styling on top. But I do feel like it is balanced with some good oils. There is some apricot oil, some hemp seeds, sweet almond, jojoba. So, it is nice and balanced. For me, I prefer to put this underneath the gel, though. This is so creamy, super duper rich. But I do find that even for my finer strands, this still works very well for me. I just have to be light with it. And I'm the same way with this one too. 
even though this one is made for fine and thin textures, I am very light handed with this. So I highly suggest like just playing around and like slowly building up with this because she's thick, like sh she's thick. Um, this is another one that I feel like isn't talked about enough. This is an amazing hair milk. Everyone talks about the leave-in from them, which I do really enjoy. It's just, it doesn't beat out my favorites. But this hair milk, especially for my low po girls, if you're low porosity, this is an amazing hair milk. And you also get that really nice tingly feeling from the peppermint and the tea tree. And then the last four that I have are like, perfect if you have fine hair strands like this these four right here are like a fine stranded person's dream the first one i'm talking about is the tgim sweet honey hair milk um i did a video with this and their new custard i've really been loving this moisturizer i don't need a lot of it Again, I tend to put this on top of a leave-in, but in the video, I did use this by itself, and it worked amazingly by itself. This smells so decadent. If you have smelled their, um, their other moisturizing, the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer, which I also love. I love that one, but now that I found this, that one, I'm like, mm. I don't have to be as like careful with that one if that makes sense because the buttercream daily moisturizer like you got to be careful if you have fine strands this one i don't i love how thin it is like you can tell it she's moisturizing but she's thinner this makes your hair so impeccably shiny y'all saw that in the video y'all were like oh girl that shine the shine that this gives is beautiful it gives a perfect layer of moisture. It kind of just seals everything in. The first five ingredients in this are water, coconut oil, honey, agave extract, and papaya fruit extract. I mean, the ingredients itself are just like everything. I can't remember if this does have, yeah, I think it has cyclopentasiloxane in here, which is a cone. So do be aware of that. I'm so happy that they came out with this because now I don't have to fight with the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer unless I Another want one that I don't talk about enough. This is the She Scented Peach Nectar Moisturizing Yogurt. It says for all hair types, but they specifically made this for people that have like a lighter weight hair texture. It says this lightweight hair yogurt provides softness and moisture to very dry, brittle hair. Um, it contains a powerful blend of oils and butters that will transform your hair. And this, oh my God, y'all y'all you all first of all the peach nectar scent is beautiful like it is i love the peach nectar fragrance but this cream is so good you don't need a lot of it i'm like i'm starting to inch down to like the halfway point on this this is um an eight ounce container by the way i know it looks bigger but it's one of those tumbler situations but this right here makes your hair so shiny it makes your hair literally feel like butter. Like this is so good and perfect for fine strands. I know some people with the Comet, even the Burdock Root Buttercream for some people is a little bit too heavy. This right here, if you need a good moisturizer and you have fine hair, y'all, this. Um, The first five ingredients are purified water, peach extract, um, arnica flour, chamomile extract, and there's a vegetable emulsifier in here, but this also has some mango seed butter, peach kernel oil, grapeseed oil, avocado, and moringa. Um, and there's also some yogurt powder in this. This is, oh, I love this in the fall and winter months. It's so good. Like, this is just so decadent. I pull this out when I'm feeling luxurious. Like, I'm really trying to treat my hair. Like, she really just needs that beautiful, you know, just unctuous feel in the hair. That's when I pull this out. This is amazing. You can actually use this by itself. You don't have to have a leave-in underneath this. Um, I also use this sometimes to rehydrate styles or um, if I'm going to put my hair in like a slip back style or like a half up, half down situation, I will go in with some of this. This is amazing. And then my last two favorites, I've shown both of these. I actually have a video using both of them. I have the Avocado Curl Nourish Hair Cream, Ultra Nourishing Moisturizer and the Royal Honey and Argan Buttercream Rich Moisturizing Hair Cream, both from She Scented.
I think I said this in the video, I highly suggest using these as moisturizers, not necessarily as stylers. I don't feel like they really have um, styling properties. And honestly, definitely check that video out. I will link it above. Um, I did a battle of the creams with these two just to compare. I love using both of these on top of my Marula Mallow Leave-In, just very sparingly. And then going in with a really nice gel. I think in that video, I used the Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. I love that combo, y'all. Oh, that is an amazing combo. Let's talk about Royal Honey and Argan first. First of all, the smell of all of the Royal Honey and Argan stuff is mad decadent. Like, soft and sweet. Just amazing. This one says that it provides softness and moisture to very dry hair. It's supposed to tame frizz, smooth cuticle, and leaves hair feeling amazing. And yes, it does. And this has purified water, BTMS, avocado oil, cedar oil alcohol, and marshmallow root extract. There is that royal honey, like right in the middle of the ingredients list. This one has coconut and castor seed oil as well. I love this. Um, this one is great if you are someone that wants a little bit of a humectant but can't do glycerin. This is perfect for you. I love the shine that this gives my hair and I feel like this one in particular gives it a little bit of extra definition. This one isn't quite as softening whereas the Avocado Curl Nourish Hair Cream in a lot of ways it's similar and in a lot of ways it is different. In terms of the ingredients, the first five are water, avocado oil, BTMS, CDR alcohol, and castor seed oil. This also has shea butter and sweet almond, but there is vegetable glycerin instead of honey. So that does um, come into play. Vegetable glycerin is a bit of a stronger humectant than honey is. And this one smells amazing too. Smells like candy. I really enjoy using this product. I enjoy using both of them. I find that this one is a little bit fluffier. This one doesn't quite define my curls the way that the Royal Honey and Argan does. So for me, it's it's gen genuinely about how I want my end result to look. If I want fluffier, bigger hair, then I go for this one on top of my Marula Mallow. And if I'm looking for a little bit of extra definition, a little bit of extra shine, I put this one on top of the Marula Mallow and then I seal it with whatever gel I'm feeling that day. These also mix beautifully with the She Scented, um, not the She Scented, the um, Main Choice gels. I, I use a lot of my Main Choice and She Scented together because I find that for some reason they just tend to work really well together, which is great because She Scented and the Main Choice probably take up about at least 25 to 30 percent of my hair collection maybe even more at this point so um i love pairing my she scented and my main choice together these two are beautiful creams they work very well for my fine strands again i do use them sparingly and obviously i've used this one a little bit more because this one is older this one is newer but um these provide amazing nourishment I also go in with these on days when like I'm putting my hair up like in a puff or something like that. Um, and these add some extra hydration, some extra shine, some extra nourishment. So these are both really great picks. It just depends on what you, you know, like what you prefer in terms of ingredients. I highly suggest picking up either one of these or the Peach Nectar during Black Friday. You will not regret it. <laughs> okay, guys. I got through that much quicker than I thought I would. <laughs> um, but we are at the end. So these are all of my favorite leave-ins and moisturizers for my curly natural hair. So thank you guys for watching this video with me. I hope y'all are having a wonderful beginning of fall season. Because <laughs> I know I am. Um, and stay tuned because I have empties coming up. And I have gone through some stuff. Y'all will be so proud of me when you see this empties. You will be literally so proud. Like, I can't believe I've gotten through all this stuff. So, be ready. Friday, we're doing an empties video. And I will see y'all then. Bye.